Mike. Obviously, uh, another MSFA Cup game coming up this weekend. A way to to run corn. First off, just to have the the lads been in training and, and sort of fitness wise this week. All good. Yeah, lads are looking forward to it. We know it's going to be a tough test away from home. Um, but from what I've seen, the facility is really good, the pitch is good, um, and they, they play good football. So yeah, we know how tough it's going to be. Um, so we focused on ourselves and, and what we need to do and how we need to turn up. And in terms of the, the injury front, is there any new news to report or is it the, the same phases who won't be available on Saturday? Yeah, exactly the same as uh, the last couple of weeks. Um, got a couple of lads that are very close to, to joining us, but not this weekend, so hopefully the, for the Boston game. And Ron Corn, of course, two leagues below yourselves in the in the pyramids what kind of test are you expecting to, to face going down there yeah well we've watched uh, we've watched uh, um, a few clips on them uh, we've had a report done on them um, obviously beat Bamber Bridge in the last round which was in uh, the league below us um, and they're in the playoff positions so they're you know they're a strong team and um, we've seen that they play good football they've got some good technicians um, and they've got goals so uh, we know know what we, we've got to do and uh, um, what the levels we need to achieve. With obviously the FA Cup and despite two leagues below, obviously externally you might kind of look at that and see obviously yourselves going as the, the favourites, but how dangerous do you feel it can be going up against a, a team who essentially, I suppose you, you could say they have nothing to lose effectively going into a game that perhaps not expected to win, but it's on their home turf and no doubt their supporters will be out backing them as well. Exactly, yeah. Like you say, you just... You just mentioned it. You know, it's going to be one of the biggest games um, in there in the club's history, and plus in, in the lads. And uh, we always know in the FA Cup it throws up plenty of surprises. And if we go there and we're complacent and we think we can just uh, turn up and win the game, we'll be surprised. And we know that. So, like I say, we've done as much uh, research as we can on them. But ultimately, I always say to the lads, no matter who we face, it's 95% about us, about our blueprint, our philosophy, our intensity, um, and how we turn up. And uh, for me, we've got a great group of lads and they want to uh, build that winning mentality, so you know, it continues on Saturday. Yourselves have kind of had a, a similar situation of sorts playing, obviously, in recent years against all of them here in the, in the FA Cup, two leagues below them. Do you feel there are potentially any parallels you could sort of draw in terms of knowing potentially how Runcorn feel going into that game as potentially how you did against all of them a couple of years ago? Yeah, I think, of course. I think. Um, a lot of the lads will have, you know, FA Cup experience playing teams um, in the low leagues and teams um, in high leagues. And you, like you said, you've mentioned it. You know, you've got nothing to lose. It's it's the biggest game of their career. It's a it's a, it's a big stage. Um, and when you've got nothing to lose and nothing to fear, you can be very dangerous. So we know that, and uh, we know, like I say, it's about our um, strategy, our intensity, our focus, our mindset. Um, and everything's been focused uh, about going there and making sure that first and foremost we win the battle. You've got to earn the right to play and then we play our football.